Hi guys, this is Jason and Rod from Spoon CCW, and we're going to do a comparison between the Shield EZ380 and the Shield EZ9. So stay tuned, we'll get into it here in a minute. Okay guys, Shield EZ380 and Shield EZ 9mm. In the last uh, couple days we put 250 rounds of ammunition through the 9mm and I haven't really been counting on the 380 but we've had this a couple months and we've put a lot of ammunition through this. I would say it probably got upwards of a thousand rounds through it. Yeah. So. Um, no, no significant malfunctions that were uh, not user-induced. Now, there's a couple very specific things about the shield line that uh, I wanted to talk about. And one of them, and you can see it on both of them, is this grip safety here. Um, this is, in my opinion, it is a real good function. Uh, where people have issues with this particular gun is they get lazy with their grip or they don't get their grip high enough to get that grip safety depressed all the way. Yeah, and that's what I did yesterday. I yeah. tried to pull the trigger, nothing there. Yeah, and it, it literally, it disconnects the trigger, so there's going to be nobody home. Um, but uh, once once the, the grip safety is depressed and you have a, the proper grip on this firearm, they are ultra reliable ultra accurate and we've had some very very good success with these guns we got two review videos one on this one and uh, one on the shield easy 9 this is the shield easy 380 that i'll put a link in the video description so you guys can go check those two out um but as far as shooting them we're not going to go through all the specifics we're just going to kind of compare them and show you a little range footage between the two so that you can get an idea of what it's like to shoot these guns and maybe if you're looking at one which one you're going to want to choose yeah i think if you you know if you're not familiar with the grip safety and you buy one of these and just take it out and carry it that day um i don't know if that would be a good idea if you're not really in tune with your grip yeah um you need some practice and obviously yesterday I shot this one for like the second time and I'm not used to the grip safety and I had an issue with it right off the bat. Yeah, once I corrected my grip up high enough, it was great. Mm -hmm. But uh, I never thought about it, not in the mental process. So yeah. you need that mental process there. And that just goes back to training with your gear. <laughs> exactly. Training with your gear. So we're going to get the range and show you some shots. We'll be back here in a minute. Back from the range, um, I guess probably the first thing that everybody's going to ask is, what's the difference in recoil in these two? I don't think I noticed a significant amount more recoil from the 9mm versus the 380. And uh, both of them are excellent, have excellent shootability characteristics, and uh, the you know, the recoil on either one, you can't tell the difference, you know, if you just go from one to the other and back and forth. Um, it, it's just not there, you know, yeah. as far as your senses being able to tell that, you know. Um, I don't know, we didn't shoot any plus P or anything through either one, so I don't know if you could do it with that. But, um, Maybe. I don't know. 
I didn't. I noticed a little bit more muzzle flip with the nine. Yeah. Um, obviously, the 380 cartridge isn't quite as powerful as a nine mil, but as far as uh, a substantial increase in recoil, I didn't. I didn't feel that. This is that no. the nine millimeter is one of the softest shooting nine mils that I've shot. As a matter of fact, absolutely. Um, I noted after we shot this, we shot a um, full size M and P nine mil, mm -hmm. and just feeling to me, and it's unscientific, the Shield Easy nine felt like it had less recoil than the full size gun did. I I agree with that, and uh, it's you know I know that it's a lot less weight than the full size but there's something about the grip and how you handle it i believe that that mitigates that grip Absolutely. mitigates the recoil and uh, you know, even though the m p is a lot bigger gun and uh, it's just superior in shootability as far as i'm concerned and we shot a bunch of the original shields and they were kind of atrocious as compared to this thing yeah and so yeah, I think if I was in a shield market, a shield of, of any type, um, after shooting the shield originals, the Gen 1s, I guess you could call them, and the yeah. shield 2.0s, um, these are both shield 2.0s, but I would go with the EZ line if I was looking at a, at a 9 mil. Absolutely. Um, there, there's no question about it. The, the ease of use... Um, you know the the capacity the and really the increase in size is is negligible yeah compared to the original shields um a lot of the holsters fit we yeah. did notice um one of the i think the only um detriment to these two guns is magazine carriers yeah. um these magazines have got a a, a thumb Right, wheel or um, grasp on them so that you can pull the pull the um, slide down or the uh, follower down on them. Yeah, and if you uh, get the wrong magazine holder and or um, the magazine's not fully loaded, a lot of times they don't like to fit the current plastic or Kydex magazine holders. Yes, yeah, yeah, we've seen that on the 380. Um, more than a nine, of course, we haven't messed with the magazine unloaded really um, with the nine and the Kydex yeah. magazine holder. I did, I did notice that my Blackhawk magazine holder um, worked decently well mm -hmm. with the nine millimeter magazine. So if you're looking for a magazine holder, although the thing is, if you notice, it does still push the magazine follower down. So there's spring pressure there. So if the magazine isn't fully loaded, then it uh, it's not going to really work well. Of course, you should be carrying your magazine fully loaded. It's just nice to use your magazine holder at the range. Yeah. Um, and there is a difference in on this this one. I think <clears throat> the nine millimeter, in, in my estimation, that the the pull down lever here is a lot better than the one on that. That one tends to bite. That shot my wife's gun a lot. And this one is better. Yeah, with the it's a little bit different design, um, a little bit better in my estimation than the 380. A little smaller on the one side. Yes, it is. Now, the 380, um, if any of you folks out there have used uh, M&P 22 Compact, that is the size of these guns. And the, the 380 coming from an M&P 22 Compact standpoint, if you're going to, you know, practice with an MP22 compact. When we switch students to this Shield Easy 80, um, there's no real learning curve there. The, the gun feels the same, the controls are the same. Um, outside of the grip safety, making sure that they got the proper grip on the firearm. And there's not, once again, just like going from the 380 to the 9, if you go from the 380 to the 22, there's there's not a substantial jump in recoil impulse. Now there is no. more push with the 380, but yeah, it isn't. It isn't a surprising amount. This isn't like 380s of yesteryear where no. the, there was super compact and just atrocious right. recoil, like LCPs and bodyguards and stuff like that. And there have been times in class where you know we'll have somebody shoot a 22, 
um, M and P twenty two and dump them to the three eighty without their knowledge, and they don't even realize it. Yeah. So you know the recoil impulse isn't you know atrocious to them, and the noise is a little more. And they you know after they shoot a couple shots, then they figure it out. But it's not something that's really foreign to them at that point after they shot an MP twenty two for several times around around the range. Yeah. So it's it's good. Very good. The whole line is really good. Um for a new shooter, clear up to an advanced shooter. And for them to start with the twenty two and move up to the three eighty and then the nine millimeter. You know, it'd be interesting to see if they come out with a 40 in a year or so. I don't know. But, uh, and with the popularity of them, you know, the 380s are, you know, the gun to have nowadays. And if you're looking for something with diminished, if you have diminished hand strength or something like that. So that's the one to shoot for. So. Okay, so we ran, gosh, several different kinds of ammunition through um, both of these. We kind of have our favorite brands, um, and they are pretty much on the table here. Um, the uh, the 380, I haven't really noticed that much of a brand preference with the Shield Easy 380. No. Um, I did notice that it it was marginally more accurate and you can see that on the review video of the shield easy nine um with the agula yesterday but as far as unacceptable accuracy or hard to shoot or anything like that that was yeah and i all of the brands that we got here um and i think we've even run some winchester um yeah well we need to run yeah. some winchester through that sometime and uh you know just borrow mom's gun and and go down and try that out you know we haven't shot any winchester through hers either but we have shot the fiasci and the federal through hers and yeah. it was really the same thing no no real huge difference in accuracy and uh, between the two brands i did notice yesterday when we were shooting the nine when we started with the federal and then went to the fiasci and the agula Aguila, um this seems a lot hotter than yeah. the other two brands. It reports a little, it reports a little better, you know, or a little more, and uh, and it was at more accurate yeah. through the nine mil. The other thing that we we've, we've run, and I think I run a box or two through the three eighty, and uh, I ran a box through the nine mil yesterday was uh, six hour V crowns, and uh, you know. We enjoy that six hour ammunition. If you if you take a look at this ammunition, I don't know if you guys can see it, try and hold it up for you. Um, but it it is a wide flat mouth on the uh, on the opening for the jacketed hollow point. So generally if you're gonna have an issue with something feeding a jacketed hollow point, this is the style of bullet with a wide flat mouth. Um, HSTs and hydro shocks and gold dots. Right. all have this wide flat mouth also and those are the ones that seem to hang up on the feed ramp if you're gonna if you're gonna have an issue if you're gonna have a malfunction with it and but a lot of that depends on the gun and and you know the choice between the gun and, and the ammunition yeah you know so but so uh, i mean i think um very little ammo sensitivity um very good accuracy very good handling characteristics um, a little bit less recoil. One thing we did uh, do is we weighed these two guns, and the 9mm does weigh 5 ounces more 
with an empty magazine than the 380 with an empty magazine. We did not weigh them with a loaded magazine because um, that's all going to depend upon the weight of the ammunition that you put in there. But uh, not a big difference in weight. No. Um, you know, we always advocate you shoot the largest caliber that you're capable of shooting, and I think, I think the Shield Easy 9 brought the 9 millimeter caliber down into a lot more people I, into their reach. I absolutely agree with that. You know, there's a lot of um, older folks and women, um, and even in my age group, that have problems manipulating a 9 millimeter, and uh, because of the spring pressure on the mainspring. And that puts them right back into the game yep. there. And I think that's what Smith & Wesson was shooting for um, with both these guns was to bring more people back into the game. And they've totally succeeded in put a lot of pressure on everybody else. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. So if you guys are in the market for a new carry gun or if you're in the market for your first gun, um, one of these two, I don't think you can go wrong with one of these two guns at all. Um, as I say in our other two videos, that this is one of our training guns we use to train new shooters, um, experienced shooters. Anybody who really wants to try it out can shoot it in one of our classes. Right. Um, we just got that one a couple weeks ago and added it to our, you know, stable of training guns, and now we have a. You know, an MP22 compact, a 380, and a 9 millimeter, all about the same size, same manual of arms. It, it works out great for us, and we've heard nothing but rave reviews from everybody who has has used one of these. Yeah, and there's been a lot of times where someone will come in and use our rental program and shoot the 380, and then come back from the range and buy one on the spot. Yeah, and so you know, it's something to think about. You know that, you know. There's a lot of people out there who have gotten out of the concealed carry game, so to speak. Even younger folks who, you know, they're of smaller stature or, or, you know, don't have really good hand strength to manipulate a slide. There's a lot of people out there who are now able to get back into it and, and actually train like they should be trained. Absolutely. So once again, guys, if you guys like our content, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. Have a good day.